grade friends, it's Miss Davis here with your writing lesson for today. Uh, today we're working on making sure that your story has a clear beginning, middle, and end. And I wanted to remind you that story structure is just like what we've been working on in our reading, making sure that we can identify the clear beginning, middle, and end. So as writers, we're copying what our authors are doing in our stories that we're reading. We want to make sure that the middle of our story has a big event. Sometimes that might be a problem. Like if you're writing a spooky story this week, you might have something going wrong in your story. Miss Davis's story, there is a problem, but my story is not spooky, just a little bit exciting. So when we are writing writers, we want to make sure that our story has a clear beginning, middle, and end. And in the middle of our story, up here at the top, that big climax, the big event in our story. So Miss Davis has been working on her story. Remember yesterday we worked on adding dialogue to our story. Miss Davis made sure she had dialogue in her text and down there in her picture. Today, I worked on my story and I wanted to make sure that my story had a clear problem or big climax moment. So here is my writing for today. As the garage door rumbled open with a loud creak, I saw a furry pair of black ears peek from behind the car door. My dog Molly took one moment to decide what to do next and then she turned and ran out of the garage and down the driveway. Oh my goodness. Miss Davis has a big moment here, right? My little dog, who you can see in my picture, has run out the door and down the driveway. That is the big climax moment in my story where something has gone wrong. I have a big problem, right? So today, writers, I want you to either reread your story that you've been working on, or if you're ready to start the middle of your story, think about what is the big moment. It could be a problem that's happening in your story, or maybe it was just a big exciting event. Like if you're fishing, this would be the moment that you caught your fish. Or if you're going on a roller coaster ride, oh, this might be the moment where you're at the top of the hill about to go down. So today, writers, make sure that your writing has a big moment in the middle of your story. All right, see you later. Bye.